Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be messing with all the new stuff that's come with the new campus DLC. And we'll be transforming this whole entire mountain into one massive university town. Also, if you're new to the series, I try to play City Skylines every Sunday. So if you enjoy, remember to subscribe. Anyway though, let's get started. So, I did a little bit of preemptive rough terraforming on the mountain here. Just so we had something to work with, and I just wanted to check out a lot of the new buildings and how the whole system even works. I think we need to make a zone for education. Aha, uh -huh, paint campus area. So I'm getting like industries DLC vibes from this. So we make the area. Alrighty, campus area, very good name. And what does that mean? Do we put like a main education building in here now? Because we have new tabs. We have trade school, uh, liberal arts college, university, varsity sports, and museums. Well, let's just start with the trade school. Okay, and this is the admin building. This building defines the campus area type to trade school, allows reputation progression of the campus area, and works as a headquarters for city services. Trade school campus buildings provide university level education. Okay, so I guess the reputation then kind of levels up the campus and unlocks all these new buildings. So you get the groundskeeping, book club, and like a million other things here. Oh my gosh, the list goes on and on and on and on and... Wow! That is an insane amount of buildings. Well, let's start things off. Let's just put it down on the road. This is obviously not the final place it'll be. We'll switch things around once we figure out what's going on. And just see what's up. So there's your water, there's your power. That is an amazing looking building. In fact, that is one of my favorite looking buildings in the game. Neat. The More Career Institute. Yes, please. I want more career, please. More career, sir. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. And reputation level, unrecognized. Obviously like level one, academic year. We have next level, current level academic work, students, and attractiveness. And then tuition fees and expenses. So, does that mean we get a student loan policies? Or actually, wait, there is a policies tab right here. Healthcare, free lunch, visiting scholars, and universal education. Where, where's the college loans? Why can't I in debt my students, hello? Well, there's healthcare, universal education. Oh my gosh, this makes it completely free. Increases the campus attractiveness by 20%, increases student happiness, and of course, yeah, no income from tuition fees. There's visiting scholars, so you just like invite people to the school. Free lunch, obviously, <laughs> just gives people free food. And free healthcare. Now, academic works, what is going on? Academic staff? What is this? What's the purpose of the academic works? Oh! So they're created at the end of each academic year and required to level up the campus area. Interesting. And a campus has a chance to create one academic work per 500 students each academic year, up to a maximum of four academic works per academic year. Dang, that's pretty academic. So you want to build as big a university as possible and have a bunch of those staff on on board to make all these works. Nifty. Well, what else can we do here now? There's a trade school at dormitory, so we can have that college campus life. Oh my gosh, and there's paths attached to the main building, thank goodness! Oh, so we can decorate so much with this. Oh, that is fantastic. We're gonna make this look amazing after we're done figuring things out. So what do we have here? Ooh. It's like slidable, it's not like tileable. That's nice. And what was that? A trade school dormitory? And that allows the campus to hold more students, obviously. A study hall, which makes the school more attractive. Well, um, <laughs> I don't think if it looks like it does, yeah, I, I don't know how attractive that's making the school. Honestly, it almost looks more like a prison than in some kind of academic building. 
Or I guess this is maybe just like the trade school academic building. There are other like schools we can have. And hopefully the other ones don't look as um dystopian. Then we have little maintenance buildings, which look adorable. So nice. Oh my goodness, and even more adorable than that, we have a book club in this little building. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for the level one campus here. So let's check out the next one. The liberal arts college campus area. Okie dokie. What do we got going on here? Very red roof. Okay. Looks very Italian. Are they making the spaghetti here? No, I think liberal arts, that's like studying law. Or is that just like artwork and painting? I don't even know. It's been years since I was in university. Anyway, though, we have the same kind of dealios. Like, we have our dormitory, a study hall, maintenance building, and instead of a book club, we have a drama club. So that's where all the actors hang out, write their plays, their new movie scripts, or they're making their YouTube videos. Very cool. But finally, though, we have the university campus area. So this is just like general studies then, I guess, right? <gasps> Oh my god. That's my new favorite building. That is absolutely amazing. Do all the other buildings in this category kind of look like that? So this is the dormitory. Let's just build them all and check them out. This is the study hall. <laughs> maintenance, right? Yeah, maintenance. And then their special thing is a, I'm sorry, a futsal club? Oh my god. It's the city skyline sport. So they just made up their own sport, and this is the, like, the fan club for it. Okay, dude. Okay, dude, that's a frat. That's, like, pretty much a frat house. What? Okay. And that is probably the most hideous building I've ever seen. Big enough roof, eh? However, oh my gosh, the other buildings? Like the dormitory and the study hall? 10 out of 10. The blue roofs are amazing. Specifically, though... Oh, the admin building. Like, bonus points to whoever designed this one. Anyway, those are like the three big university things. And then we have sports. So we have basketball, aquatics, track and field, baseball, and American football. Oh, and these can all be placed wherever you want in the city. Oh, that's good because this mountain, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be able to handle all of these stadiums. That is amazing. That, that is so cool. What about the other ones? We have the football stadium. Brother, that is the coolest freaking thing. There's the track and field center. They saw a big red track. Couple thingamadoogles in the middle there. What is that? Long jump, shock put, high jump. What's this one? Double high jump? I don't know. Then there's the basketball stadium. And the aquatic center. Oh, and it's like, kind of like a wave. Well, that's pretty neat. Well, that's all the sports centers, but what do they actually do? Like, what? Holy, what? Kibstopia University Broncos? Can we, wait, can we name our team? Please. Please. Campus area info? Please, let me name this. How? Team identity. I can't name my own team? Buccaneers, we are part of the Chirpers, <laughs> Lions, Spartans, okay, this is pretty amazing, this is, a <laughs> I can't believe this, but oh my goodness, we have coaching staff, we have cheerleaders, weekly expenses, trophies, we have all the tabs for all the other things here, attractiveness, sports attractiveness, I guess this is for the university area itself. Okay, so when the sports areas are inside the university campus, that's when you get to choose all this stuff. But when it's outside of the campus, like say over here, you don't get to mess with anything. You get the team cutter, and that's it. Wait, is that right? Yeah, because we have the campus area info, and that's where you do all the team stuff, because it's all on the same team, of course, and then here, it's pretty much just like the soccer stadium. 
Yeah, so you win and lose games, you get ticket income, all that kind of jazz. Wow! Pretty nifty. And then the last thing here is museums. So you have to have universities be prestigious in order to have these. And these buildings hold on to the academic works produced by the universities. And the more works that are in them make them more attractive. The more attractive they are, the more tourists come to them. The more tourists come to them, the more dollary dues. But I guess we'll be getting to the museums a lot later on. First off, we need to make a proper prestigious university. So I'll clean up this area and we'll actually get started here. Alright, so this is going to be an absolutely massive project because we're going to have all three university campuses on this hill here. So I split it up into the three and designated the zones. Where's the zoning? Like so. So over here, this is going to be the libertarian area. In the middle is going to be the trade campus. And on the edge here, this will be the quote-unquote normal university area. Of course, there's the minor obvious problem that you don't want to have a university campus right next to a huge ore mining facility. So uh, this is going to go. We're going to rip out this entire area, redo the hill, and put in the university here. And we're going to move our entire mining industry over to the other side of the map with our other two industries over here. And we're just going to have it somewhere in the mountains. Because the mountain over here is full of goodies. So goodbye for now, ore mining industry area. I think this has been here since pretty much I started the map. So we're losing a bit of history here. But that's okay, because we'll be making a far larger and more impressive ore industry area later on. But now we can focus on the new! And first off, I have to do an absolute insane amount of terraforming to make this land workable. Okay, so I have the first iteration of the terrain here and got things a little bit under control. So we have flat plateaus for all of the universities. This area is generally the same, but we'll get to that a little later. A little flat area here, 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 and here. And then another flat area kind of going behind the mountain just for this highway because this highway is going to be the main road to get people in and out of this university area. And I have it hooked up to the highway over here and over in here. And then of course, besides the highway, we'll have some other minor connections as well. But we'll focus on that a little later. Right now, we are going to start putting in our administrative buildings. So these are the centerpieces of all the university districts, so we want to be pretty careful with them and try and put them in like the best spots possible. I think this is pretty good, yeah? This is the Liberal Arts College. Yeah, not bad, not bad. But I think that's a little bit better. I think the people agree as well. Well, some of them anyway. <laughs> then also, a big thing with each university area, I want them to each have their own kind of distinct district feel. So, the arts area, is going to be all curvy and windy and have some really unique aesthetics to it. And then for our trades area, it's going to be more so a uh, rigid and authoritarian kind of look. Kind of like Soviet Russian architecture. And then we're going to brick the rest of the streets into a bunch of blocks. And then for the university campus area, this is going to be like the very high class, high end kind of look. So we're going to make things as neat and beautiful and luxurious as possible. Because come on, this building screams class. And with that, we have our main buildings down. But of course, we're not going to finish off every campus today, but we will probably get a lot done on this one. I mainly want to finish off the Liberal Arts College, just so I can finish off the terrain around here as well. So we'll see what we can do. The first top area, is going to have mean like administrative buildings and then the second terrace here is going to have like the actual proper school things like the classroom areas study halls and things of that nature just have to get the road down first so i just went through things and tried to keep the same kind of flow going as the top here 
and yeah, just followed the outskirts of the cliff. We got a really wild shape going on. A little bit of yin and yang with these two roads as well. I can, I'm pretty happy with this actually. Need to bring the power and water and stuff up there. But we'll do that in a moment, because right now we're going to start putting some buildings in. So we're going to put the study hall right in there. How's that look? It's not bad. Looks pretty good. Most of the windows are facing uh, kind of outwards here, which is what I really like. These people need to be inspired all the time when they're at this university, so lots of great views. Just to move it a little bit closer to the cliffside, though. Fix that road up. It's not bad. Then we'll put another study hall just on the other side of the hill here. So people don't have to go to the same one all the time. They can get some inspiration from somewhere else. And that's all we really have for like learning buildings at the moment. The only other thing we have unlocked are the dormitories and the groundskeeping. So the dormitories are going to be on the very, very first terrace here. Like way, way down here. So people kind of have to like move and groove up the hill in order to get to class. So there's one side, that should be enough for the other side, and then we'll just throw in a couple groundskeeping buildings out and around just to make sure everything is kept nice and tidy. So I think three should be good as we start out, so one, two, three, and finally there's only one other building we can make, and that is the drama club, which will be over on this end. And I guess since this doesn't really provide education, we'll put that on kind of like the student dormitory level. So we'll have one drama club building down here, another over here, and a third one just back on this other side again. Yeah, I think that works out pretty well. Okay, and after hooking up the road to it and adding in the power in the water, I guess we just let her rip. Because the only way to have this thing level up is through those thingamadoogles, the academic works. So I have to like, wait, can I just give money? Do I have to give money? Cinematography? Sure. Okay. So I give them the $50,000 and then I have a 30% chance at getting the work? What do these do? Accumulate a bonus to the academic work creation change throughout the time span. Oh, oh, I see. We increase the odds of us actually getting a work here. Well, we're making like, what, $30,000 a week? I guess we could make this uh pretty hefty. Give them a loan, we only have $10 million. So there's your funding. Policies now. We probably just want to leave this. We'll have universal education a little later on, but for now, we'll just let it be. And actually, I'm just going to increase this to the max amount, so we have 78% chance of getting the grant, because these academic years are extremely slow, and I don't want to miss any opportunities. So I guess while we wait, we can do a few other things here. Namely, is I really think we should add in, like, some services. Now, the buildings aren't asking for services for whatever reason, but I'm gonna guess they need them, right? <laughs> well, yeah, like if they catch on fire, I don't think they're gonna drop their paintings and grab a bucket. Yeah, we probably do need a few services. And I don't wanna have the service buildings up here. Instead, we have all the flat areas in between our university areas, and they can kind of be like university towns. So there we go, we kind of have like a nice little community and services place. So you got your death care, you have your postage, little gym for all the people to kind of exercise that. And you know, speaking of sports, you know, we got a lot of space here. Why don't we add in one of these things? Ooh, ho, 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 what a good idea. What would the arts people do though? Probably swimming, right? Basketball, maybe track. Ooh, the track could look nice. I don't know. I could see the art people swimming, though, for some reason. So we're going to add in the aquatic center here for them. Yeah, just threw a couple roads around it. A little decorations off in the technically the back, but we'll call it the front. And it fits right in. Looks fantastic. Very, very happy with that. Cool. 
And I was able to use this first little grid here to start laying out the rest of the roads. And we're starting to have a little bit of a design coming through. Very good, very good. You're probably also noticing all of the red in the roads too. And that's for bus lanes. Because on top of just the university campuses, they added new buses. So they can either be random, biofuel, or in the normal bus. But then there's now the school bus. And of course we're gonna have the school bus going around the school zone. And it just adds to the aesthetic. Thought that was a pretty neat little addition. Oh yeah, and we get to make our sports team here. Oh boy. Well, we're not gonna be the Spartans, I'm gonna tell you that right now. The chirpers? It's blue. The aquatics thing is blue. But birds don't swim. Alligators swim. Oh, but wait a second, we can be pirates. Easy answer, easiest answer of my life. Then we just make this all blue. And we have our first sports team. Oh, oh my gosh. In the school buses, the yellow get that, they're so yellow. Look at all the people that aren't traveling on them. Amazing. And wow, this town just appeared out of nowhere. Dang, and look at all the people coming to this. Ooh. That's something I didn't really consider. This is gonna be really busy. Like, if this is any indication of how busy these sports arenas can be, there's going to be a ton of traffic coming to and from this building. That could be a problem, actually. That could be a problem. Oh, and also the fact they can't ever leave is a problem, too. Many, many problems. Well, then again, we do have about a year and a half still before we have the chance at leveling up. So I guess I'll just fix the roads while we wait. Okay, yeah, a year is definitely enough time to fix a few traffic issues. So now I just have a little bit of a roundabout here, so people will go to the, what is it? Aquatic Center. Uh, the stuff is done there. Oh, and we won our first thing here. Well, that's cool. But yeah, uh, <laughs> people go in their little loop, and then they can enter the highway just from right here. It loops in there, goes onto the highway, and I buffed the intersection here, so now they can leave both in this lane and in the lane across. And we're all good. Traffic is a new Parabarino. Really, really happy though that I built this today. So we knew that in advance, because I wanted to have like every single sports arena up on this cliff area, and that is extremely unrealistic. We're probably just gonna have like, like three, maybe four, Something like that. All right, though, let's see if we get our first academic work. So we have a 78% chance of getting this. We're paying like $20,000. We gave the $50,000 grant. I want this movie, man. Oh, oh, hold up. No, no. We didn't get any academic works. Oh, no, brother. Uh, still unrecognized. Very sad. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I, it's getting late, guys. I, I am just blind. So these are all of our university campuses. So Capestopia, which is just the main building. Hickory College, which is the trade main building. And then the arts. So this is the one we've actually been working on. And this is showing us what's happened here. So yeah, of course nothing happened to these two things. Apparently though, there's a big party at one of them. But it's not even open, so... Okay! And now though, for our Academy of Arts, yeah, we have the three academic works, uh, like 1,200 students, 685 attract attractiveness. We're now recognized. We did it. We made it! We have a cafeteria, arts fountain, gymnasium, and outdoor study and research grant funded academic work. A dreamlike compilation of different skylines filmed in multiple cities in the past four years. Neat. Oh, and it looks like we just bought, like outright bought this academic work. And that's what our funding was for. So that cost $50,000, not bad. And then these two were the luck-based ones. But there we go. We are now recognized. Technically level two, but we have enough academic works so that we're closer to the next level. 
And we have all of the new buildings. Ooh. So what do we got here? Back to this. We now have a liberal arts outdoor study. Ooh, this is a big old thing. We'll put that right front and center. Oh, that looks nice. Couple tables. Very chill. Yeah, I can handle that. However, I think it would look a little bit better on the other side here. So that's what we're gonna do. And then what else? We have the gymnasium. So I guess we'll find a place to put that. We're gonna just tuck it over here. Then we have the cafeteria. This looks amazing. And man, that is actually really cool. Definitely one of my favorite buildings so far. And then finally though, we have the fountain. And now this can go right in front of the main building here. Oh yeah, perfect. But yeah, I think that's, oh, it. Did I miss this one? School of Education. This is way down the line. Was this unlocked initially? What is this? Faculty provides all schools with an influx of substitute and student teachers, which increases student capacity and helps educate them more efficiently. Say what? Are those the schools all throughout my city? Uh, okay. That's uh, pretty good. Oh my gosh, that is a, that is a big boy. That is a big freaking building, man. Oh my gosh, and it looks like we got it. Yep, there we go. Deleted everything in here. Now we have this amazing school of education. And would you look at that, with a little bit of moving around and cutting some corners, I managed to fit in all the other buildings as well here. So nothing lost. Oh, and would you look at that, another year already. So what did we accomplish this time? We lost a bunch of students. Why? Kids, I have this campus. Why do you leave? Don't know. But now, we have six academic works. We have a very attractive campus. And we are now a renowned university. And we're gonna be able to make a statue art club, arts library, school of environmental studies, and a liberal arts commencement office. Ooh, does that mean we get the cap and gown whole dealio going on? Oh, neat. So now we have a library. Well, that's pretty critical. Oh my gosh, and it just fits in right there perfectly. Perfect. Should we have multiple libraries? Should we put the library up here? No, this is all gonna be a park. I think the one library is pretty good. Because we have quite a bit now. We have an art club. And you know what, with the art club, I'm gonna expand this front area just a bit. So as we get more club buildings, we can fill in this whole area with all of them. And we can have them all centralized. Dude, that's gonna be perfect. Just move that a little bit, move this in. Oh, that's gonna be so neat. Oh yes, and now our commencement office which is the venue in which all of the graduations happen at. Oh, baby, this, now this is going up here. It even has all the things and the stuff and they're gonna throw the caps and the jazz and oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. That has to be somewhere up here. Has to, has to, has to. We're gonna make it work. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, and then we'd have the Dean there and all the people with the caps and the gowns and the whole nine yards. Brother, I am pleased. Extremely pleased. And wow, this area is gonna just look absolutely incredible once we actually start decorating around it too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I think there's still one more thing. I think it was a statue? Yeah, liberal arts statue. What does this even look like? What What is that supposed to be? Just like an orb or something? I don't know, but it looks really weird, so we're just gonna put it down here. Yeah, that is a, that is a thing. It's very modern, very art. And you know what, I gotta admit, there's something about that artwork that just, just inspired me, man. And I kinda just went ahead and did a lot of decorating around here. Kinda filled out some roads, added in a new terrace around the back here just to add in some more student housing. I have this cool little area back here. 
since this, uh, what is this called? The garbage thing? School of Environmental Studies. Yeah, the garbage thing. <laughs> Blocks off this area. I need this back area its own little study zone. So there's a library, study hall, and a little fountain just to make this a little bit more secluded. Then I added in some more paths and a library up top. And the whole area is just looking mm, very, very nice. Though there's a couple problems right now. A couple big problems. Number one, garbage has piled up. Come on, School of Environmental Studies. You're supposed to be solving that. <laughs> but no, um, I am having trouble actually getting enough students into the school. Because, um, well, everyone died. <laughs> and I'm losing like $100,000 per week. Yes, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Because I, I didn't realize this, but all the while, while I was working on this uh, university area, I didn't realize that one of the mods I was using was broken. And it's a mod called the Auto Budget Mod. So usually you can just tick off a few of these things here. And it messes with the budget so that you're always spending the perfect amount to cover all of your city's needs. But the new DLC had broken it, and all these numbers were flying wildly up and down and all around, and then, uh, yeah, just, you know, no one was paying for the death care or the medicals. And then, yeah, you know, you get the plague. And because of that, it's going to take me just a little bit of time to find survivors to come to our new university. So we'll finish leveling this up next time. And once this whole place is leveled up, we'll finish off decorating, adding in all the paths and trees and all the cool things. And we'll make a ton of progress on the rest of the University Mountain as well. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I need a name suggestion for the Liberal Arts College here. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I prefer not to keep it as Cubes Academy of Arts, because I can't even draw a stick figure properly. So this name is not going to work out. But anyway though, that's going to be all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, remember to subscribe because I'll be continuing this Let's Play on Sunday. Anyway though, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye.